welcome back friend today in this video i will share you 31 to 40 mcqs total 10 mcqs i will share you already 130 mcqs i have already shared if you missed that videos then you can go to the mcqs playlist and you can find all mcqs related to lab exams so let's start this question number 31 the following are good points in the laboratory work ethics which one has no relatedness options are being responsible next option being reliable next option being good in planning career and being able to be effortless in the job and the answer is first option being responsible is the good point in the laboratory work ethics which one has no relatedness Question number 32, which of the following is used to grow viruses in the laboratory? Option is first option nutrient agar, next option blood agar, third option nutrient broth and fourth option is tissue culture. Tissue culture is used, that is correct answer, tissue culture is used to grow the viruses in the laboratory. Question number 33. While working up a case of hemolytic disease of a newborn due to RH incompatibility, a technician would most likely carry out indirect comb test on which of the following? Option is newborn serum. Next option is newborn RBCs means red blood cells. Third option is mother serum. And fourth option is mother's RBCs. And the correct answer is second option, newborn red blood cells. Question number 34. What could be diagnosed by using modified Z Zeal Nielsen stain that we will call ZN stain also? Options are first option, Antamoeba coli. Next option is Giardia lambia. Third option is Blatinium coli. And fourth option is Cryptosporidium species. And the fourth option is the correct answer. Cryptosporidium species can be diagnosed by using modified ZN stain. Question number 35. Which of the following agar is generally used for the isolation of fungi? First option McConkie agar. Next option Mueller Hinton agar. Third option chocolate agar. And fourth option is Saborodus dextrose agar and the correct answer is last option uh, Saborodus sorry if I pronounce wrong Saborodus dextrose agar is used for the isolation of or the for the culture of uh, fungi question number 36 a 6 year old girl who has a present travel history with sore throat hoarseness and enlarged lymph nodes a throat swab was sent for culture and the results shown gram stain gram positive uh, gram stain results shown gram positive bacilli organism was non motile and test was catalase positive and uh, hemolysis shown non hemolytic so which of the following is most likely causative agent options are first option staphylococcus aureus next option listeria monocytogenes third option is streptococcus pyogenes and fourth option is chronobacterium diphtheria and the correct answer is chronobacterium diphtheria is the most likely organism that can be the causative agent of sore throat hoarseness and enlarged lymph nodes Question number 37, which of the following method is used for a quantitative assay of creatinine kinase, mm, sorry, creatinine kinase CK isoenzymes, uh, creatinine kinase is different and creatinine is different. So here they are asking that uh, about the enzyme, that which of the following method is used for a quantitative assay of creatinine kinase isoenzymes. First option is atomic absorption spectrophotometer. So next option is ion exchange chromatography. Third option is flame absorption spectrophotometer. And fourth option is flow cytometry. 
and the correct answer is atomic absorption spectrophotometer is the method used for the quantitative assay of creatine kinase isoenzymes question number 38 what is the stain used for the identification of amoeba the first option is gram stain next option is iodine stain third option is jimsa stain fourth option is leishmania stain and the correct option uh, correct answer is second option iodine stain is used for the identification of amoeba question number 39 which of the following is usually used for the quantitative analysis of electrolytes uh, option is first option two dimensional paper chromatography next option is thin layer chromatography third option is oin selective electrode fourth option is electrophoresis and the third option oin selective electrode is the method usually used for the quantitative analysis of electrolytes question number 40 how the tinea saginata infection can be diagnosed for options are first option finding gravid segments in the feces next option is finding characteristics x in the feces with lateral spine and third option is finding characteristics x in feces with terminal spine and fourth option is testing serum for antibodies produced in response to infection and the correct answer is first option finding gravid segments in the feces so this video is completed here now uh, 140 mcqs i shared and 60, uh, 60 mcqs still pending from this uh, batch of mcqs i will try to share that 60 and remaining 60 mcqs also so if anyone have missed that mcqs uh, you can go to the mcqs playlist and you can find there